Welcome back to the Sound for More channel. It's Leo speaking. Today we are going to have a look at how to use Drumbo and in particular how to use the clips inside Drumbo to actually drive automation inside AUM, um, automation in another AUV3 instance, i.e. in another audio channel. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. Okay, so let's create two audio channel like so, very simple. So on the first one, we're going to instantiate Drumbo. So let's call for Drumbo, the normal instance, like so. On the second one, let's choose something interesting like Terra Pro, which I recommend, it's a fantastic synth. Now, let's open up Terra Pro and let's choose um, um, a preset. Let's go for uh, the factory bank and let's choose this 32 filter dome, which is really nice. Let's connect the keyboard, the AUM keyboard to the synth and let's listen. It's really nice. And if I change the cutoff here, you can clearly hear when the cutoff is actually changed, right? So let's go here on the connectivity and let's connect Drumbo to uh, Terra Pro. Also, let's, let's click here on the MIDI control. Let's establish that uh, we have as a MIDI source here Drumbo as well. Then next, what I want to do is going to inside Drumbo like so. And uh, let's actually minimize the keyboard of uh, uh, AUM. Let's maximize the size of the Drumbo instance. Now, on track number one, let's click on the plus sign. And I'm going to show you one way to do it, but um, there are other ways as well. Um, I think this is the, quite one of the simplest way. Click on the miscellaneous utility, and then go right to the bottom and choose a knob. Of course, you can choose different other controls to do that. Next, click on the plus sign again, go to MIDI, and let's go on the generator and select CC generator. Now let's connect the output of the knob, like so, to the MIDI CC generator. And then let's add also a MIDI output, like so. We select that it needs to perform, um, send message, uh, MIDI messages out, not as a feedback. And voila, now we have created uh, uh, the basic configuration to actually set the automation. Now let's ensure we are inside this clip here. Let's uh, click on automation down here. Click on the plus sign and assign this knob as uh, um, the target to control. Now let's create um, um, something here, something like that, where uh, uh, we have an ascending uh, line and then a descending one, like so. Now. Let's click play. And if you click where, here on the MIDI icon, click and hold, you can see the MIDI messages as well on this uh, very nice uh, monitor, which is really, really nice. And it works also for audio as well, not only for MIDI, so it's really nice. Okay, now let's close this and let's go back here on the connectivity here of Terra Pro. Let's, get, let's go again inside the MIDI control and let's scroll down and let's try to find that um, um, filter and so let's search uh, that is filter one so we are almost there um, filter one oh here we go filter one cut off follow no let's go to uh, let's see if we can find just the normal MIDI uh, cut off here we go filter one cut off like so if we click learn it will immediately pick up that uh, uh, there are messages, CC messages coming out from uh, um, Drumbo on channel one, CC number zero. Okay, so now let's open up Terra Pro and let's bring up the uh, AUM MIDI keyboard and you can see the cutoff is going up and down. So we now have automation based on what we contain um, on this particular clip, which contains this automation. Now, let's move up and let's create another um, another row of clips here. And um, let's go to the sub second clip here. And again, let's establish that we want automation uh, as, a t as a target for automation, this knob again. And now let's do something different, which you can hear that is clearly uh, different, something like that. Perfect. 
Now, let's um, try. So as you can hear now, you have a different type of modulation based on these set of curves which I created here. And, um, and you can continue like that. So the beauty of this approach is that you can change between different clips here. So first one. Second one. You could assume that these are just dummy clip um, if you like, but that's an interesting way to actually control automation directly from drum by just uh, clicking on uh, different clips, which uh, I thought uh, might be uh, of interest. And, um, and I definitely know that one of the subscribers of the channel has requested for a tutorial similar to the one I just showed. Okay, I hope you enjoyed. See you next time. Bye.